New at five, a local company under fire for allegedly scamming hundreds of people in Wisconsin. Now you've likely heard and seen advertisements for Windows Select. The Menominee Falls based company opened three years ago, but now it could shut down for good. Our Katie Crow, they're live with details on a lawsuit that was filed this week. Katie. Carol, while doing some digging, I found out that the uh, Window Select office and warehouse out here in Menominee Falls has recently been served an eviction notice for being $20,000 behind on rent. But so far here, it appears business as usual. Four people filed a lawsuit against Window Select, its owner, and two employees this week. The people taking them to court? two men and two women from all across our area, Germantown, Cedarburg, Oconomowoc, and Milwaukee. Together, they say they are out thousands of dollars for work that was never completed or done poorly and never fixed. Well, it's a lot of money to us. And, uh, you know, I just, just want to put this whole thing behind us. Gary Winogenki is also planning to file suit. He's among 250 people who've issued a formal complaint with the Better Business Bureau of Wisconsin. The BBB gives Window Select an F grade and revoked its accreditation. I have no guarantee. I don't know how they can stay in business. Gary signed this contract last October, agreeing to pay Window Select $9,000 for new windows. He paid half of that up front and was told the project would be completed by February. He's still waiting and has stopped hearing from the company. They said they could not refund my money because they already paid the supplier. But, you know, I, I don't know when that's going to be or if that was true or, or, so I have no idea. Menominee Falls Police confirm they are investigating the company after receiving complaints. Meanwhile, the Window Select website continues to share positive customer reviews. Okay. I called the store looking for someone who could answer my questions. W what can you tell me? I spoke to an employee listed in the lawsuit. She told me over the phone she's never worked with any of the people who filed the lawsuit and just answers phones for the company, sometimes helping with customer service. I also stopped by the Menominee Falls location, but was told no one was available to comment. Now, just before this newscast, I did get an email from a public relations firm in Chicago called Reputation Partners, which apparently is representing Windows Select now. And that company tells me they will get me a response to the lawsuit as soon as possible. When I get that, I'll, of course, share it online at TMJ4News.com. Reporting live in Menominee Falls, Katie Crowther, TMJ4News.